I don't even know how far back they are. This, they may be just right in here. Bees coming out here. Don't look like they grew very much. Still got regular plastic foundation right there. A little bit of something right there on that one. Look like they skipped some too. That might have been an old frame stuck there. Nothing going on here. Just a little bit of something kept there. It's a hot muggy day and they ain't liking me being here. Yep, still hadn't been much comb drawing around here. Beat all I ever seen. They're already after me. Don't get it. Capped on that side. This one's full here. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take this one. It's not too bad. I think they got kind of a small brood nest here, so might give them some room if they need it. Another good cap from there. There we go. Yeah, it's a pretty good bit of honey for probably a small brood nest here. Let's see if this one's got any brood in it. It was brood one time. All right, that one's got brood on it. That's probably, I don't have this one marked, but it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Maybe around nine. This is frame ten. Good honey on this side. We'll get this one next time. And it may be one I leave with. Because it's right up against the brood. Let's check this one again.
that's kept on this side almost full there I'm gonna leave it and if I find any any empty comb not being used somewhere else I may put it back here and close this up just like it is All right, this is my red pen. Bought this from Greg Burns. I'm gonna call this, this is hive number five. I got five, so I'm just gonna put five on here. On these two. All right, we'll go ahead and close this up. There's there's a lot of bees under the bottom of this thing. I think I think on these long hives like this with these screen bottoms, I think they bring a lot of their food supply in and just exchange it right there. And I I could be wrong about that. All right, we need to check another one because I need enough to make a couple spins. This one's an empty frame. So this one is too. Pull one of them out. I'm gonna set it right here where I won't forget to put it back in there. All right, they're working that one a little bit, a little bit, not much. Little honey there, little nectar, empty down on the bottom. It's about half capped, a little over half of it hunting. Little cap. Ah. If the other side looks this good, it's going to be a taker. It ain't quite as good, but. It might be a taker. Let's just move on with move move on forward and then work back. Almost every one of them the same way. May have to just take it and get rid of it. The last actual hive inspection that I did, I talked about how they wouldn't draw in any comb. with enough flow going on to draw comb. And they were actually, some of them stealing wax from one part of the frame to cap what honey they was making. And it looks like that's what kind of going on here. I hadn't really seen what, look at there, there's the queen. Right there. I've never seen the queen this far down. So 
Let me get my... Y'all watch her. I was making sure that camera was going. Now I have never seen the queen this far down. This is going to be frame one. Let's see. Oh. Number 10 is right here. 11, 12. That was frame 13. Frame 13. So we probably need to pull some honey from that way. I don't see no eggs in here. She sure was in here. Squish the beak. <clears throat> you see, they probably backfield. Yeah, I have never seen actual brood go past, but all of my front entrances like this. Frame, usually, most of the time, frame 11, I have seen them be on the front of frame 12 with brood and in the back of frame 12 with honey. But y'all, every one of these is looking almost alike. I'm gonna start pulling some of these out. A lot of honey in this box. I just want to see where brood is first. Alright. I gotta really unpack this thing. Yep. See, her brood is actually full. I'm not gonna spin this one out because it's it's uh not capped. But maybe they'll move some or something. Now I'm seeing brood right here. That's probably frame nine. a few eggs and some larvae down in here. Alright, this other one's covered with packed with brood too. Alright, this is where we're going to start. I'm going to spin these older frames out. Let's see. How many I got in here? Two. Got L3 wrote on it already. I'll remark it later. Yeah, this has got the brood in it. Um, I don't know if I saw that while ago. I probably just looked at it this way. Did we see that brood? See it? You need to move that. All right.
see this one. I'm just over here and do a front test. It's good. Everything is sticking to me. I'm going to go ahead and take it. all these bees off of this one and I'm going to shake it. I'm going to go do this on the bottom of that lid over there where I can see it. Y'all can't see it. Oh man, that's dry as it can be. Just ain't kept. Ain't much in there. Got to get it in. Let's check this last. Probably end up having to feed this summer. Something I won't ever do. I may leave that. What y'all think? Yeah, they, they got room to still put some honey in there right now. If they're getting any. I bring all them back, put back in here. Y'all get off the queenie. Y'all need to move some honey, don't you? Be able to see her or not. All righty, close it up. All right, I'm gonna close this up. I'm gonna check a couple more, see how they're looking. Try to get enough frames to do at least two spins. This one is heavy. Let's see what we got here. That's freshly capped. I think they did that yesterday. I don't, I'm just joking. I don't know. But this one's full. I 
Did I say which time this was? This is number 11. Fully capped. 95, 98% capped. Yeah, this one's got to go with me. I'm just going to carry it to the box. Everybody come off the front, they didn't come off the back. Be right back. Another pretty one. Hey. Everybody needs to follow number 11's book. Alright, this one's not kept on this side. So I'll wait. I'm not, not stressing it. I'll wait. I go ahead and spin those out. To see if there was a heavy flow going on right now. I'd have to get these back in here as quick as I could, or they'd be drawing comb. So I'll spin them out tomorrow and bring them back when I'm done. Okay, y'all, this is number two. Here's the end frame. Before I went on vacation, none of this was like this. They had three or four empty cones here that I had given them. See these older ones? This is the second frame. I've already pulled a couple of others look like this. Maybe be ready. This side is. I got one empty box, nuke box left. Let me go grab it. This may have to be my last colony. I'm getting burnt out. Pretty. In this one. This one has got a little brood in the bottom. This side's good. A little bit of drone brood right in there. This is what this one's got. Looks good to me.
Pretty much every bit of this happened while I was on my trip. Or in the last three weeks anyways. Or not. Oh, we'll leave it alone. We used to be greedy now, huh? You know what? Just in case, I'll show you what I got. Get bees out there now. This is a whole box of drone cone for the medium. I wish it was only five frames. I wish I had five frames of drone and then some plastic, but I don't. Hang on, Joe. You can call the head of your horse here. We got to put this one back in. I know. Check this one again. I'm just going to check this one. I'm going to do a slam thing. back put them in as soon as I can get there. I was just about to burn up. I thought I had 20 frames, but I forgot I didn't have one in here. Plug it up. Got my 
heater over here. Y'all can't see this. Go ahead and turn it on. I'll let it run. It'll keep that air conditioner from cycling off. And hopefully I get the temperature. Kill that bad 72, but I really don't want it that cool in here. I'd like to get my temp back up close to 80. But it's dry in here, it'll be good. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Like that out. Alright, I feel air hitting them all. I like to comb them. Kind of It'd work better if I had it in right now in regular high body so that air could blow through it, but that does work. And I can feel that heater working too. So we'll get these things dried out overnight maybe. Not that there's an issue, they're probably fine. I might even check them. But y'all, we'll get back to the extracting part later. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.